Jason Saunders, two times Olympian for New Zealand in the 470 and Agra 17 class. Trimmer on the port side of Orient Express racing team. Jason, another day of training on the books. How did it go? Yeah, it was good. Uh, we actually thought there wasn't going to be any wind at all and we're pleasantly surprised. We got out there and there's actually even 10 to 12, 13 knots at one point. So, uh, great sailing conditions and uh, we made the most of it. Today already 10 days or a little bit more sailing with the LEQ 12 mainsail uh, from the trimmer's position. Uh, which kind of feedback have you been able to give to the sales designers? Um, yeah, I think we've been working closely with them. We're trying to, trying to look uh, with some cameras at uh, the shape of the sail and um, we're able to talk a lot with them with how it's been built and you know, there's a lot of little adjustments to be made uh, with the battens and, and the rest of the sail. So it's been some good feedback and some good learnings for us. Uh, it'll help us a lot in the 75. When talking about the different uh, controllers you have for the main, which are the main differences compared to one design main? Um, Hopefully yeah, this sail is probably a bit more go through the range of conditions a bit better than the one design sail. Um, so we can sort of see some good performance across the range of conditions. So yeah, just probably a bit more a bit more across the whole range, yeah. Then in terms of uh, structure of the main, do you feel this main is a little bit more effective to transmit uh, tension into a force tape for example? Um, it's tough to tell. Um, I think that, yeah, certainly we're looking at things like that, um, but hard to know exactly if it's, if it's actually going to help. I mean, the, the LEQ is going to be so different to the loads we're going to see on the 75, so it's hard to take too much into it, um, but we, we're certainly seeing some of, the, some of the things the designs are after, so we're reasonably happy. And then when, when you compare uh, the feeling on the boat, and then you go on shore and you look at the data, um, do you feel the same things, or sometimes you're surprised to the things that you find on the numbers? Uh, usually you see pretty similar. I mean, our feel is usually roughly on point, so we, we know uh, what we're looking for, but sometimes you certainly do get surprised, so there'll be little things that surprise us from time to time, but um, it's good to be able to trust your feelings as well, because that's how we've grown up sailing, and I think it does help. And today some minor issues with the lock system of the jib. Any ideas what's going on up there? Yeah, especially the J1, I don't know why it wasn't wasn't hooking on today. So uh, I think Antoine uh, went out the rig and had a look at it. So he'll give us some feedback, but I'm not, not sure yet what the problem was. Did you try anything different today in terms of boat tuning and the tension on the shrouds? No, no, we weren't trying to, we weren't trying to really focus too much on the setup today. It was just trying to actually do some racing in a, in a, in a race course in the lighter breeze. So that was our main focus for the day. Then uh, when talking on the components and the jibs, uh, so far only one LEQ12 jib at J3. Are you planning to start to test J1s and J2s? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that's in our plans at the moment. Um, probably just save that for for the big boat. Um, just yeah, we're really happy with what we're learning from the LEQ um, J3, and then uh, yeah, we'll wait later on to, to test some of the chips. Okay, thank you very much. No